We're back on the bench here with my friend Drew's uh, HF Packer uh, amplifier. And uh, one of the things he asked me to do was to readjust the bias of the two MOSFETs that are down below this board. Uh, the original recommendations uh, when this amp was built was to set the, the drain current in each of those to uh, 10 milliamps. And subsequently now that uh, it's been updated that uh, each of those should be biased to 100 milliamps each. And the way you do that, uh, you can see in the schematic here, is uh, basically adjusting this pot here and this pot here will adjust the DC bias on the gates of these MOSFETs. And there's no way to directly measure the drain current, so you do it somewhat indirectly. Uh, you put the amplifier into a test mode, which basically enables the transmitter, you know, the transmitter, the power amplifier, and you adjust those two pots that are located here and here uh, until and you basically adjust them all the way down so that those transistors are off first and note the amount of total supply current that we've got here on the meter and then increase one until the current goes up by 100 milliamps and then increase the other one until it goes up by 100 milliamps. So again since this amplifier was originally set up with uh, 10 milliamps of bias I'm going to put the amplifier in test mode by putting the jumper on the test pin and I'll adjust each one of these pots down until the supply current doesn't drop anymore then I know that that amplifier is off so I can see the uh, current dropping down it's kinda hit 92 milliamps and it's not going down anymore so I think that one's down all the way and then we'll adjust the other pot here we can see that dropped from 92 to 87 85 and now it's not going anymore so uh, so I now know now that both of those MOSFETs are, um, are turned off. So I'll start with one and turn it up until we go up by 100 milliamps. So in this case we're going to look for 185 milliamps of total supply current. So we'll start with this one here. And as I bring this up, going clockwise here, we can see the current rising up here. And I need to go to 185. So I'm just going to go slowly until I reach that value getting close and a little bit overshot, let's go back down again, there's about 185 185, 186 so now I'll go up on the other one and bring this to 286 or 285 let's uh, start bringing this one up here and we'll start seeing that current start to, to rise up and we should hit that spot here, here we go, now it's going up and we're looking for about 285, 286 as we bring that up and overshot a little bit, let me come back down again there's 84 it'll go back up again, 285 and just a touch more until we get to the 286 just flashing there so now the uh, bias is adjusted appropriately to the new recommendation of 100 milliamps uh, per device. Remove the test jumper and the bias setting is done.